Robert Ory, Charles Sprewell as a three on the way from the. Here's a three from Darius Mutt. For him in Alabama to see one go through. And here's double figures in each of the first three games, but none of the last four is a three rattles out from Azir Bolton. How about the toughness by Salas? Deep three. Now number 13, Tennessee. That old rival square off in a familiar building. From the high desert area in Southern California. From way out there. Underneath the reverse and the Woo! follow from American Paul Biancardi, our national recruiting director at ESPN, had him ranked number 11 in his ESPN 100 rankings. And a travel is nation of Kristaps Porzingis and Evan Mobley. So I just love his all around impact. Uh, Auburn, or you look at Paolo Bancaro and what he's done on the big stage so far for Duke. Yeah, I think that it's a three defensively someone who can step away from the rim and put a lid on the rim I mean, he's the best shot blocker that I've ever evaluated at his age here fighting in the post drew Timmy Before next spring. I think if he can step out and expand his game a little bit, you know Our draft analyst Mike Schmitz joining us here in Seattle then subsequently, because of what they're doing to the offensive end of the floor, not a lot of run-out opportunities for Gonzaga early in this game. Just want to throw in, you can, he's got full write-ups on everybody and a good breakdown of Keon Ellis of Alabama is his latest tweet earlier today. The understanding of where Drew Timmy was, and then Timmy to have his hands ready to finish that. Jaden Shackelford, the kick out to J.D. Davison, NFO in the first half, and since, 14-3 run for the Crimson Tide. The block shot from Anton Wall. I think Gonzaga's got to figure out a way to get back to who they are in the post. Alabama's done a good, good job trying to limit some of their point production. A lot of these shots are starting to come from the outside instead of starting the inside and then working it. Shackelford has it stripped, got it back. Open three, Darius Mott. The ball, and it's only you on Timmy Island. You're probably giving up two points. The lob and the finish. By the way, that they're coming to play a true road game in a neutral venue. And he was like, yeah, sign me up, and we'll get the game back next year down in Birmingham. And if they'll play Baylor at the end of January, so a very challenging schedule for Nate Oates, who was last year's SEC Coach of the Year. And if I turn the corner, here's J.D. Davison in the corner. Impress how they've tried to protect the rim for a majority of the first half, and that starts with your pressure on the outside. Loose ball. Alabama is led by as many as 11 here in the first half. They have made eight threes and for Gonzaga. And the Zags, six of 14 from the free throw line. Timmy's got to go to work. It's one on one. To pull it back and then just drop the hammer. And Timmy has his shot blocked. JD Davidson on the push. Shackelford sets the feed. Three for. J.D. Davison stepping back for a three for Alabama. And the answer, Julian Strother too much. And the rebound, J.D. Davison for Alabama. Davison, impressive first half of the freshman. Here he is behind a screen. Three. Another three from Davison. That one rattles. Chet Holmgren backing in. Davison recovers. Tries to turn the corner on Watt. They've made one three here in the second half after they made ten in the first half. And 
Andrew Nemhart, the lob. It's broken up for watch over the top. So as you reach over the top, even as he's nudging underneath. Eight straight for Gonzaga. Shackle for... And six. Step back three and a touch. Zero turnovers today for Villanova. Nolan Hickman. And here come the Zags countering. Hickman. Blocked by... The SEC is loaded from top to bottom. J.D. Davison. That's his fourth three of the game. And a career-high 14 points. The lead is seven. They got a mismatch right now. If they can get it to Timmy. Davison's on him. They're looking for him. Andrew Nemhard launches. And wait. Julian Strother missing a three. Rebound tipped out by Timmy and a steal. J.D. Davison steps in front and finishes for Alabama. Oh. Reach in a six. It was a pick six that changed the entire game today on the football field. Kim packed off the bench, a career high at 17. The bucket missing. Julian Strother a put back. Can't get that to go. And there is Davison one more tied. Coach team came in here extremely focused, had a great shoot around earlier today. And they have executed their game plan brilliantly. Catching their head a little bit, wondering who this team might be. They are a hard playing group of guys. Julian Strutt. Well, if you're not fouling, this game is over. And there is a process of a freshman understanding what it takes to be successful. What Nate Oates will tell everybody after the game is this is the best game that J.D. Davison model this up and continue to replicate it and try to get even better. 20 points for Davis.